Using Write4 is a really great way of just making your writing better. If you want to use it, the first thing you've got to do is head over to writeful.com. This is what it looks like. Academic writing is hard. Ain't that the truth, Writeful? And so Writeful's AI helps you write, paraphrase, copy, edit, and more. And this is a very, very powerful app. If we head down here, these are the ways that you can use it. You can put it in Word, which was what we'll be doing in a moment. You can use it in Overleaf if you're working with LaTeX. I wrote my um, thesis in LaTeX, and uh, you can actually use it in that. And then you've got Writeful Revised, but that's not for you and me, the plebs. That's institutional subscription. So if your institution has got a subscription to Writeful, Full revise, you can use that. But today we'll be focused on using it in Word. Um, and then we've also got all of these other little AI widgets. You can try them out. We'll be trying them out later. You've got all of these things that you can use to make your writing better. So let's take a deep look at what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is head over to sign in or sign up. So head up there and create your own little sign in. If you're using Write for, for Overleaf, download it here. If you're using it for Windows, no. If you're using it for Word, use it here. And then you've got Writeful X. We'll talk about Writeful X in a moment. That's all of the little like apps that you can use um, to do little specific tasks in academic writing. So once you've actually created a plan, then you need to go to Word. When you go to Word, you need to have a look at this, add-ins. Go up here to add-ins, and then you'll go in and type Writeful. If it's not there, you'll see um, I've already uploaded it, so it's there. But if it's not there, you just need to search for it, put in Writeful, and then you'll see here you'll get this button. Oh, Open Writeful. Oh, that's so beautiful that it's there. Um, open up Writeful, click here, and then you'll get this little ribbon next to it. And this is where you need to sign in. And you will need a subscription. It's relatively affordable. One thing I like to do with subscriptions is like get them for a month when I actually want to use them, cancel them later. I'm very good at managing that. Um, and I recommend you do that if you want to use Writeful or something like that in the future. Just pay for it for when you want to use it. So once you're all in, you click sign in, then it will log you into write for and based on the subscription you've got will allow you to do certain things so once you've got this ribbon open this is where we do a lot of the actions you've got full edit mode so this tells you whether or not you want to proofread or full edit the document this is a review article that i was writing that i never actually finished as part of my phd no postdoc i think it was um so here we've got proofread why you would go for proofread rather full edit i'm not quite sure i always just like to go to full edit that way i get all of the changes and then you've got this check document and check paragraph so clearly it does what it says on the tin mate doesn't it so here check document that's all of the document it will start doing its magic and you'll see here it's got processing text and it will give you you know a percentage update and suggestions what it's doing is going through the entire document and looking for the changes now the changes aren't just the regular changes that something like grammarly would pick up these are academically focused changes that's one thing i really like about this is that rightful has been made for academics which means that you can be comfortable it's looking for for those very specific academic changes that will make your writing better. Because writing for peer review, writing your thesis, writing your dissertation is so different to anything else. All right, we're almost there. I've padded well, haven't I? This is uh, applying suggestions and here we are, we'll just wait. Bah, 99, 100%. Here we are. So here's the 379 things that this document needs to improve on. So you can see here, you click on the suggestion, then even the title, it's saying, well, don't do that. Just accept this. All right, perfect. Thank you very ophthalmic devices. No, that's not right. For optoelectronic de devices, that's better. So no, we won't accept that one. That one is not correct. And then we've got all of these. So this is where you go through and it's got the original it's got the changes and we can just say accept and then light emitting okay let's have a look since the discovery okay and you can see you can go through all 337 seven changes if you want but then i prefer to do it paragraph by paragraph this is a little bit overwhelming for me and it's probably why um you would use proofread instead of full edit however check paragraph just checks the current paragraph you're on it just seems much more manageable and nice bite size oh Bite size, yum. Now, here we are, we've just got eight in this paragraph. That's great. So there we are, there's the first one, just a little comma. Yeah, I'll have that. And then, uh, yeah, you go through just like this, except and not, you have to obviously use your meat brain to think, okay, well, is this good or not? But ultimately, this is how you do it. Now, this is something I really, really like, and it's in Word, so you don't have to go anywhere else, and it's this widget. So click this widget, and this whole array of things will pop up. Sentence palette, 
language search, title generator, paraphraser, all of these things. So sentence palette is actually something that I highly recommend you use because look, it just makes it so easy. You've got each section of your paper or peer reviewed um, journal uh, article that you're writing. And then you say, okay, for introduction, I'm talking about the study aim. Look at all this. You can just say, there we are, I've injected it somewhere. I don't even know where I've injected it, but that's how you use it. I'm gonna go back, let's undo that. Undo, done. Oh, there we are, it was in there. So let's put it at the beginning. Let's say I want to start an introduction. So I'm gonna to go to sentence palette and I'm gonna say introduction, topic importance, X plays a crucial role in blah, blah, blah. And this is how in the past I've talked about building up that structure, coming up with sentence starters. It's all in there for you. It's just a really great tool that helps you write more efficiently, which I love. Language search, I don't really understand what this is about, but search on um, academic text. Let's just have a little bit of a look. I've played about with with this. I'm not sure that I would uh, really use this. I don't really understand what it's for, to be honest. I think they need to do a bit of a better job of explaining why you would use this, um, but that's just me being stupid. But yeah, it just does that. I don't know what it does. Title generator. So you click here, you get another little pop-up, and you'll see you have to put in your abstract, and then it will come up with a generated title for you, which I really like. So this means that, you know, coming up with a title can be difficult sometimes because you have to take into account the actual research and you want the title to kind of encompass everything you've done without being too overwhelming. So you can use this by putting in your abstract and it will regenerate. Let's have a look. Let's get out of this and not this isn't the uh, abstract. But let's put that in and see what happens. Transparent electrode, there we are, cost analysis, there we are, great. So you can see I can copy this and then I can go up here and I can say, yeah, that's a great one, I'm gonna have that one. I think it actually works very, very well. You can see it's even got optoelectronic devices in there. Um, so it's done well, it's sort of summarizing this entire paragraph into a title, love that. Another fun widget is this one, which is paraphrases. We click on it and we see this box pop up. We've got low, medium or high changes based on a sentence that we put in. So if I go in here and I put in this one, let's Let's copy that one. Let's go over back to paraphraser and then we're going to go in here and we're going to say that one and I want to change it low. So let's see what happens. There's actually a couple of sentences in there. I've been a bit cheeky, but here we are. You can see it's changed it to this one or this one or this one. So it gives you an opportunity to see the best way to paraphrase something. Really great to have that already embedded in Word, which means you don't need to go out and do that annoying thing where you find it on another uh, website or something like that. So that's everything you can do in Word. And I think it is so powerful. It's something that every uh, academic writer should consider using because remember, Rightful is made for academics, but it's not finished there. You can head over to Rightful X. So if you head over here, you see in your subscription panel, you've got Rightful X, you can click there. Then you've got all of these different um, uh, tools and widgets. So you've got Title Generator, we've seen that. Abstract Generator, so you can use that to generate a title. You've got Paraphraser, we've seen that. Academizer, which means get an informal sentence and make it more academic, which means boring, dense and hard to read. And then you've got GPT detectors. So those are all of other tools that you've got uh, already in Word. And I think these ones are actually free to use. Now, don't quote me on that. But I think uh, you can go in and use Rightful X, which is x.rightful.com, um, to use all of these. So that's how you access more tools. Um, and uh, I think that uh, the fact that you can go and generate a title, generate an abstract, just means that we're using AI for how it's meant to be used. You know, we're not generating the text in the um, actual document, but we're using it to inform the abstract. We're using it to inform the title. And that's a much better use of AI than having having it sort of like write the entirety of a document because it lies, it hallucinates, and it just doesn't do as good a job as you can do. And I think you, with your meat brain, and in Word or Overleaf, with this Rightful tab, it will make your writing powerful and impress everyone. Who doesn't want that? If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about the best AI writers for academics. I think you'll love it.